Hi Procreate fans, this is Tia with Willow and Wheat, and today we're painting a bird surrounded by flowers. Um, this bird is on a separate layer with uh, the background being on actually the first layer I created. And I only used three brushes to paint this, all three of which I've included in the link in the description. And they are free, you don't need to provide an email, it's just some free brushes. And um, the first brush I used was actually not even a brush. I just filled my background layer with a deep dark teal that you see here. And then the first brush I used was the, was the texture stamp using almost the same color, but just uh, a little bit more saturated and a lot of bit more bright just to add some, um, some kind of like a texture toward the middle that I blended out. And the rest of the piece, I used the watercolor brush. You can use whatever brush you love the best. So as I said, this is me adding some texture with the stamp, just a slightly different hue and much brighter, actually not even a different hue. And now I'm starting my bird on a different layer as a, a shade of white and um, kind of like an eggplant shaped whimsical bird. I'm adding some flowers all around my bird. I doubled the layer of the bird to make it brighter. So I'm just adding some differently shaped and differently colored flowers all around my main subject. And right now, as I'm doing this, I'm focusing more on getting down the composition because I can play later with the details and um, painting in more colors, more specific details in the flowers, in the background. But right now I'm just trying to get a general feel of where everything will be placed. I'm striving to use colors that are harmonic with each other. So we have some teal with pinks and reds and a little bit of pale yellows. I'm trying to use different color greens, some more like yellowy and some more cool blue greens for the leaves. Working on his eye now to see where I like it and I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. So now I'm going back and seeing if I can add some more detail since the light here is coming from almost from the center. I'm gonna, when I add my, um, my accents to my flowers and my reflections on the petals, I'm going to keep that in mind where my light is focused. I didn't think I had enough light, so I went ahead and doubled the layer that I used to make the, um, the texture. So now I'm adding my reflective light on the petals. Just these little details. Now, to make a more magical effect, I'm adding little spots of light, but I'm making sure, even though their color is so um, desaturated, that I'd like to use different pastel. And there you have it, our completed cute little magical bird. I hope you had a great time, and I hope you enjoy painting yours.